Okay, playing MP3s along with the Helix from an iOS device. I've got my iPad. I do use my iPhone, but I'm filming this video with the iPhone. Works the same way. I have the Apple camera connector kit connected to the iPad and then a charging cable and a USB cable. Let's go into the Helix. I'm just running dual XLR out of the Helix right now to my studio monitors. Um, and it's really simple. I mean, you know, I'll start a MP3 playing. You can probably hear that. Okay. So it's playing over the USB cable into the Helix and it's not going through any of the path routing. Uh, you go to global settings. And right on page one, you have USB in one to destination. I've got it set for XLR. If I can set that to quarter inch and restart this. And now you don't hear anything. Multi, quarter inch, or XLR are the options. And the next encoder lets you adjust the volume of that USB audio signal. And now, as you switch presets, nothing changes. It doesn't get interrupted. You don't have to add anything to the path blocks. It just continues to play. Now if you wanted your guitar coming out of XLR and you just wanted to hear the uh, MP3, say your MP3 uh, uh, and your guitar out of like the headphone jack, then um, you'd set this to quarter inch and then on page Three, you have headphone monitor, and instead of multi, uh, I'd set that, to, or I'd leave it on multi, and you'd get both the guitar out of the XLR and the MP3 out of the quarter inch going to the headphones. If you put that on uh, quarter inch, then you would just hear the MP3 and not your guitar out of the headphone jack. If you put it on XLR, uh, you'd hear you know, your guitar and not the MP3. So, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's really convenient for, for playing uh, MP3s while you're on stage so the band can hear them. You can route it differently. You can send it to just your stage monitor if that's on quarter inch and XLR going in front of the house and you don't want the MP3s going there. Um, but what What's really great about using this, other than a couple of return jacks on the back and putting return blocks in your signal path, is you don't have to edit the signal path. It doesn't take DSP, you don't need the block space, you don't have to add it to all the various presets that you plan to use. Uh, it's just always available.